Fuck. Alright mates, let's get back to the spooky pair! Who's supposed to just been allowed entry into Ass Club? Whatever the fuck it's called. It's just him in here. God damn. Ugh. I take it on, they do it, top it, what up? Dead in a parcel, dead in a parcel. Oogly boo boo oog ayyoos Dead in a parcel <coughs> Yeah, on overseas with the punning How dare you <laughs> This is empty and shit here. Look at me, I'm the queen. Oh, I can't sit. Damn it. Aha. A library. Taked. Now I light this on fire. Hmm? Hmm, not loud, I guess. Ah, oh, fuck, he caged all the books. The ass. Ah yes, Kanaru, or Kandaru, whatever, how the fuck ever. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Subnautica, I think. Hey, good man. Bling bling, you suck a bug. Clearly, the coins used in the ass. Is this all I'm here for? Bin sold. Gotta kill the Cyclops. I, I was considering doing it again, but I don't know. Might just wait for the low zero. Which a lot of mates complained about, but I don't fucking know. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Unless I did it in VR, which is a massive nope from my ass. I minced. The fuck? Is that the Bumblebongle uh, dinosaur on your logoid there? Go and steal a coin. Mm. Mm. 
I didn't really become smart wiser. Yeah, I just can't read that. Yeah, a fine tutorial. Very fine tutorial. <coughs> Very fine game. Learn some shit about it. Hmm. Come back later. I need to rest. Fuck. I'm thinking I need these books for some horse shit. But I can't read them. I'm not really sure how they're relevant. I'm guessing I'm, ha I'm gonna have to use them on something at some point to function. Ah, Mr. McPherson, I was just thinking about you. Good to see you again. Have you brought me uh, any more culprits? I'm not giving up, Inspector. Fuck. Quite the opposite. I will be back when I have some news. Fine, McPherson. Come back whenever you want. You know where uh, to find. You can't combine inventory items as far as I know. I have to put them on something somewhere. Maybe I can summon the woman. Hello, what number can I dial for you? Hmm? I'm sorry to disturb you, miss. Can you connect me to the post office, please? I'd like to send a telegram. Right away, sir. Post telegraph, go ahead, please. This is urgent. A telegram for J. Wells, Pinkerton Agency, New York. Take this down. Seek information on a couple, Faye and Jerome Johnson. Stop. Americans, stop. I've made a note of it. Finished, sir? Goodbye. That's the second telegram we've sent to put the Pucklingtons for information, but we have uh, yet to hear anything back, so who the fuck knows about shit. Hello, what number can I dial for you? I'm sorry to eh? disturb you, miss. Can you connect me to the post office, please? I'd like to send a telegram. They call me rapid fire right post away, postogram, sir. but... Post telegraph, go ahead, please. Post office? I'm sorry. I have nothing to send. My mistake. As you wish, sir. Goodbye. Hello, what number can I dial for you? I'm sorry to disturb you, miss. Can you connect me to the Elysee 1528? I want to speak to Sophia Blake. Right away, sir. <laughs> Fuck. That time my mute button didn't work, I'm sorry. I inhaled half a cat. <laughs> Voice. I had a cat hawk this, uh, when I was sleeping. She was sort of coiled around my head on the pillow. It was a very great honor. But it means I've inhaled cat for cat, so. Which is also a very great honor. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Let me just check the thing.
anyone can... You can try and guess what we have to do while I figure it out on the walkthrough. To see what sort of logic men have. Read, read, read. Now I'm paranoid about the mute not working. Oh. So the thing in here is solvable by looking at some windows and shit. <laughs> Enjoy, Ono, please. This, that man bought some toxic fallout, now he's gonna goddamn use it, goddamn. It's very dark, I even have a flashlight, but I can't seem to use it. Uh, 
shit that reset it. As I just not sure I'm reading this. Correctly. Ah, uh, shit. Hmm. Just wondering if it resets only the ones that are wrong. Okay, yeah, this could also be... Before people started doing shit properly. Alright, Koyako. this wrong I got I would have this. No, I yeah. am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eh. I'm supposed to be able to read those. Why is it in this thing now? Nope. Yeah, I think something's buggery. These documents sometimes go in the wrong ass. Yeah, it's supposed to go in there with D 
the other shit, but it doesn't. Okay, this might be why the game breaks, because we're supposed to read about Templars in that thing. And then we can talk to this lady up here about it. Come back later. Yeah, and I can't read the book. Shit. I need to rest. Shit fuck, all right, Barrel. Chick bang, non kick. They call me wrong place, but wrong time on account of not being in the correct place, but. Darkest of Ayos. Kitty, very fine creature. The music can't help but be Nando's even when we're in a scary place. She was probably at her other home. One where she's allowed inside the walls up in the loft which he has been so unjustly denied. Spooky pear in your house. No, it's supposed to be in a book that the game doesn't let me read. It's a, uh, it's, it's dates. That opened the secret door, didn't it? It sounded like it. The problem here, of course, is... I don't know if month is first or last, because... Half the world does it right, how the other... Half... <laughs> Very good, Barrel. <laughs> it's normal. I fucking... I bought Royce this thing, she's not been in it. Except for the times I put her in it, like this little, uh, this little round cat bed that attaches to the the radiator. So basically, it's a warm, sneaky tube. Katie can can lie in and be snuggly. No, never went in it on her own. Never. She's had it for what two months now. She was very interested in the box it came in though. Although, huh. Mm. 
Oh, I see. Okay, so this one was the first one. All right, so we just did it right now. So we need to do three right in a row. So we just did the June one. Let's try the March one. Uh, March is third, isn't it? <laughs> Score. Next one's the January one. Oh, look at this orrery. It's been never. I haven't seen an orrery this good since Asriel's tear. And that game is still in my head. It was, it was so, it's so weird that game, it like, it's lived in my head since I was a kid. And I never really got very far, and it was sort of creepy and weird to me. And now that I've played it and finished it as an adult, it still sits there in my head as, the, as this weird feeling of a place that I've been. I think the point of it, Barrel, was that it was Nando's. It's kind of like how Boyce knows that certain things I'll react to because it's Nando's and she makes sure that I see her do it. Like when she's at my parents' place, she'll go to one of the chairs and then she'll scratch the back of it and then make sure my mother, my mother's looking and if my mother's not looking, she'll come get her and then scratch the back of the chair while staring directly at my mother, ready to run when my mother goes, was a minute, was a minute. But if she doesn't care about the chairs, voices are like, oh, never mind. Yeah, darkness. I should do darkness, finish darkness within two as well. We've left it long enough for a replay to be in order. The problem when we were trying to do darkness within the other time was that there is a good ending, supposedly, but I missed it by missing a thing in the beginning. So I wanted to do it over and actually get that. Ah, uh, the flashlight. Yeah, so it's not just a thing you can pick up or not do or a choice you make really in the beginning. It's but basically you go over to a, there's a, an alleyway. You're looking for this man in the beginning and he lives in a certain place that has a door to his home. And you have to walk up to the door and then you hear something happen inside the door that makes you want to urgently go in there, which we did. You have to wait until there's another sound thing from behind the door. And once you've heard that, you can ask. I didn't wait. Because I thought it was urgent, which denied me some ass. Kid is very aware of the meaning. This actually reminds me a little bit of one of the places in Darkness Within One. That game actually spooked me a little bit. Conarium not so much. I I think they're almost done with their fourth game. What are they called? I forget what they're called. Like Anger Skull or something? They made Darkness in 1, 2, Canarium, and now some other ass. Canarium was very Lovecraft.
Very, very. Okay, here we are. Okay, so headphone users. Of course, I've never played this before, and now that we've gotten ahead, I am no longer oodling the walkthrough to try and see what I missed. Uh, this game has these cutscenes that happen every now and then. The guy we have, Spooky Pear, uh, he's kind of he can kind of get visions of what's happened in places, and those play in cinematics. And true to form, cinematics in old games have full blast volume, so there might suddenly be loud noise. So if you have your headphones on, maybe turn down the volume a little bit, whatever, just be prepared for that sort of shit. Admittedly, it hasn't happened much. Although I might forget to mute and snort directly into the microphone again. Because that's the kind of guy I am. The fuck is this? Hmm. Okay. Mountainside, four, nine, two, three, five, six, six. Can't interact with it. A clever man would sketch it. Maybe take a picture. We have not taken a single picture since we picked up the camera in the beginning of the game. Luckily I have the hypnotist's coin. And apparently the main villain is very vulnerable to hypnotism. <laughs> so we can just fucking sort him right out. No. That might be it. I don't lose use that object to do it though. Oh, I'm so stiffly. Oh, Antihistamines, please kick in. Alright, Lentil. Fourth, it might be a cipher. Everything also adds up to 15. Were it a Sudonku? Dive him. Yeah. Yeah, it's 15. Yeah, this is one of those games where the brightness settings, let me show you. Adjust the brightness until the center. Calibrate your screen. Monitor. So screw around with your monitor. I could add some brightness onto Twitch, but I think it would just be washed out. Then again, I, I like my darks when I like my dark. I have a decent monitor. I always make sure I get one so I show the, the blackness properly. Otherwise, everything just looks like it's washed out. Which, of course, is probably make... Unless, like, if you guys have the chat up on one side, you're not in dark mode, Nas. Uh, shift enter. Does that work? A real alchemy kit. All these flasks contain powders. What on earth does he do with them all? The thing is, we're supposed to be we're supposed to talk about alchemy with what's her face. But since we can't read the thing, oh, did you write something on both lines? I think it auto deletes. Uh, I think it auto deletes. Uh, yeah, it just moves it up. Okay. All right, right. So these are, as far as I can tell, uh, star sign asses, which would correspond to months, I think. Which would probably mean that we would mix shit with the thing over there. <laughs> Fucking vile of lieutenant. We must penetrate a number. Yeah, uh, Twitch uses MIRC. Uh, sorry, IRC, not MIRC. That's a client. Uh, to ask the thing, but it has its own formatting shit, and it to stop people from pasting crap, they remove certain things. 
I can understand why they uh, why they removed line breaks though, because it would allow someone with one message, which the most bots won't uh, detect as spam, to just remove everything in the chat. Because as you can see, the Twitch chat is not infinite. Everything, uh, it, it like if you scroll up a little bit, it will not have everything. If you connect uh, to the Twitch chat via an IRC channel uh, client, you can keep everything, and it's also much less likely to disconnect. Fladority uses MIRC to go on to uh, go on to Twitch, so I actually have a full log of the fucking Twitch chat on Fladority. <laughs> so uh, yeah, nothing gets past me. I should try and find that, see how big it is at some point. If someone needs to remind me of Discord though. Blub blub. So that's Mars. I think. Oh, what's that? Six? March? No. Uh, I can just take a picture like a fucking barbarian though. It's right here by where we need it. It's NP. Here's another one. Uh, six is June, yeah. March is free, right? I never learned the numbers of the months. I never learned those. I don't even know the order of the months properly. That's never a thing I, I, I had to do. I... Also, don't in DK people have a tendency to plan everything in we numbered weeks, and I hate that shit. Okay, let's see. 18, 19, ask, carry the bullshit. 34, uh, right, so 25, yeah, 34. Okay, so we have 15 and 34. Right? Hmm. No, not like that. Like, this in week 4, this in week 2, like all the weeks of the year are numbered. It's... It's... I hate that system. Oh dear god. Okay, we might have to go back and try and talk to Lady. I'll just Google everything I can here, then teleport over and see if she has anything to say. If she doesn't, I'll just load back here because I'm going to be asked walking uh, all the way here. Yeah, I just hate shit like that because it's like salarymen types. I, I work in week 15. Like, ooh, what's that to a normal person? Is that the murder weapon? The one that can, in one chop, remove Hayard. Aha! Indie. Indie puzzle. I should stream... I, I'm, I've been thinking, uh, always doing two or three hours starting streams. Two or three hours of some adventure game every time before we do the usual. Uh, of course, that only really works if I keep proper schedule. What do men think about that? We'll take pictures as we figure out when to need them. This is all in the same room, so that's not so bad. I also, I need to do the brains as of Indiana Fate of Atlantis. I've never actually done that. Completed that game four times. It's always been cooperative. Fuck. No, you sort. Something in the middle? The coin, maybe? Only real round thing we have. Indy 3. What, uh, Emperor's Tomb? I cannot get that to run proper. Ah, bastard. Now we have a document for that that I keep forgetting about. Cybert is very good at uh, linking it. Mm. 
Aha. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, last crusade. Hmm. Yeah, that one's actually licensed. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Is it just a Caesar cipher? It's usually just a fucking Caesar cipher. Oops. Let's do the Rex thing then. How do I roll head Rex? Uh, can I not turn the- oh, there we go. I can go back, right, okay, so I can click a little more cray-cray. I see Rex down here, so we should be able to get a word out of that if we can ask. Where the fuck is E, though? There it is. X is right. There. Hmm. Not entirely sure what exactly I am asking here. Good man, Cybert. It might seem like I ignore that document a bit, but I, I write the things, the ones I'm not gonna, but a lot of them I have sort of saved up for special occasion. Uh. <laughs> oh, kitty, you're so warm. Uh, do you still have the thing, Bean? I might, I might need it. If you could post it again. I can't scroll it. Any time I alt tab in this, it, the game dies immediately. I could go take a picture, but I'm worried that all of this will reset. Shit added up to 15 though. Try them. Uh, could you, <laughs> could you break it up into three different sentences for my old ass? Uh, you just have to wait for, uh, two seconds or so between between posting them. So it, it, the spam thing should not do anything except except tell you you're typing too fast. There's no like hidden ban on on it anything. Let's try the first one here though. That only goes to seven. No? Wait, what the fuck? Three, five, six, seven, okay. <laughs> uh, nah. Just in different messages. You don't have to try and put them in the same one. I'll sort it and if I go take a picture of the thing. <laughs> ah, fuck. What was it called, uh, Barrel? Do, 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 do. Oh, barbarian. Picture take of screen. Oog, oog. Man, my phone is really dying. It is on the last verse. Yes, take a flash directly into the screen, guy. You stupid fucking thing. Auto, no. Off. Fuck you.
Yeah, I, like, I have so much shit that's falling apart. My phone, my glasses are broken. I need dentist, all sorts of shit. But these fucking med shit, god damn. Oh, we still have Rex. Okay, let's try Fortnite. That's not gonna work. That one goes at seven, so let's try three, five, seven. This is purely a guess. Three, five, seven. So one of the one down ways here. Uh, we can only do the two one, so it's two seven. Provide this one goes to thing as well. Two seven. Oh man, I can barely see this. That most certainly was not the way of doing it. Let's go talk to maybe Lady and get explore the rest of this place. Fucking hell, why is it so dark? Shitting Jesus, I cannot see a fucking thing. There's a corpse there, so we might have a loud vision. I put my headphones slightly astray on my head. Are you vampire sucker? Right, so the thing on the pedestal is now something I recognize as the, the thing we have a picture of that I can hold but not look at for fuck's sake. Very ass. Uh, that's probably the head of Behumlet. So this is all Alacrant, what is dead. Wait, I can only use things on him? Ah, maybe it's finally time to take a picture. Plump. No more rust on him. Nice. Get all the Jesus fuck. Is there really no use for the fucking torch anywhere? Cannot see shit. Come to Pia Liebel, the Ministrone. I'm assuming these are the people he's asked around and been over the ass time. Pietro. Let's see who he is in modern times. That would be interesting. Paul Atreides. Pilibus. Pilip Jean the Rockefort? Isn't that cheese? Claw Jean the Rockefort. Yeah, that must just be a family tomb, not his his body more of us. Gilead the Leonard. Paul Hubbard. Comte Fernard Cloudle, the Monte Peasant? Should have been Monty Python, isn't it? Jean Claude Colignipe. I fight you, Adrian. Jeremy Moglenai. Gregory the Alpin. Oh, nice. He's, he's not yet dead. Also not dead yet. Hmm, I'm not dead yet. Maybe it's for me. <laughs> yeah. Like looking at crabs and could shit as a trait. I'm hoping we can get the alchemy conversation from the lady by simply having been here rather than... Uh, Having to read a book that seems bugged.
Okay, I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna fast travel to her. See if she wants us. Music just can't help being Nando's. You are the detective, ah. are you not? That was the idea, Lancel, but uh, he's apparently in the psychologist now. But I'm not sure what the fuck the plan actually was. Of all the strange things that my investigation has thrown up, Mrs. Lozo, there's nothing more mysterious than this object that everyone calls the head of Baphomet. What do you know about it? Throughout the ages, this relic has been the subject of so many rumors and aroused so much greed that many have doubted its existence. If it is that old, this object belongs in a museum, does it not? Rumors about this relic have been widespread for almost a thousand years. A mixture of historical and hermetic knowledge. I see it as invisible history. So the head of Baphomet is a real object. It's not a metaphor or an invisible force. Yes, Mr. McPherson. Many people believe in the existence of the head of Baphomet. This is one of the factors that brought about the final downfall of the Templars on March 18th, 1314. But why the interest? Uh, that's one of the times we asked in. Enrich or Eldritch. Because of all the help you've given me, I feel like I can tell you the real reason for my investigations. Anyway, it's not like I can keep anything from you. You know everything that goes on. The Whites took this object from Grégoire d'Alpin. Theft? What did the Whites want with the head of Baphomet? They were paid to carry out a contract, just like me. We're all mercenaries. Thieves were working for someone else. Their death was their curse. Oh, this relic is dangerous. Yeah, it's like the pug from Endless Dungeon. Dungeon of the Endless. You talk about this object as if it were cursed. Are you afraid of it, Mrs. Loiseau? I fear the symbols that it represents, Mr. McPherson. That's quite enough. And Dalpen managed to spread this myth by surrounding himself with loyal supporters who share his beliefs. The head of Baphomet has belonged to Grégoire de Valepin for a long time. It is the symbol of his power over the Brotherhood. It is his own reason for living yeah the dog is actually that mask we saw the murderer wear that was the dog attached to his face controlling him like meat puppet so in losing Baphomet Dalpin has lost his head in a matter of speaking yes to believe so strongly in a power that it controls your life it is better to stay silent about certain things, especially if they fall into the wrong hands. Leave me now. You know quite enough. Face doggo. No, I don't. I need to know about alchemy. You are the detective, are you not? Mm, need to know about alchemy. 
Oh, thank fuck. I was afraid this might only appear after we read the book, but it's enough to just have it. Could you, in your infinite wisdom, tell me what alchemy is? Alchemy is magic through symbols. Nothing is lost. Everything is created. The transmutation of matter by metals. The great work. Order in chaos. Are there still people around today who believe in alchemy? Alchemists, perhaps? Yes, they do exist. Hidden in the shadows. This art is a set of symbols, Mr. McPherson. A secret code hidden behind a veil of lies. Yeah, I wanted to ask this yesterday, but we're gonna we're two staying for alchemy. With what I have seen over the last few days, I feel I can uncover any secret. One cannot uncover the secrets of alchemy. One must adopt its philosophy. And that involves living in the world of symbols, where nothing is what it seems. That is the only way to glimpse the truth, to realize that it is still alive. So alchemy is a philosophy. Whence comes the Philosopher's Stone, am I right? The Philosopher's Stone is the building block, the angular stone. Philosophers? <laughs> Uninstall, I want sorcerers. Look at her. <laughs> what is this business about Templars, Mrs. Loiseau? Fascinating subject, is it not? <laughs> it is so simple to link everything back to the Templars. Forget them. They disappeared seven centuries ago. There were such things, though. What do you know of their history? The Templars, protectors of pilgrims to the Holy Land. Blessed by the Pope at the request of St. Bernard on January 14, 1128. Accused of heresy by Philippe le Bel, King of France. They were arrested throughout the country on October 13, 1307. They met with a tragic and controversial end. They were sentenced to death by fire. Their Grand Master, Jacques de Molay, perished on a bonfire in Paris on March 18, 1314. Old Templars still stuck in attorneys. Doesn't the story of the Templars mention the particular part played by a woman? A woman called Adeline? We do not know anything. Only what was reported. There exists in the shadows an invisible history. Each thing will become clear when the time comes. Good luck, Mr. McPherson. Shit, fuck, we're not done. Come back later. Fuck. I need to rest. <laughs> hmm. Wonder if my teller Hello, ass has come can through. I for you? I'm sorry to disturb you, miss. Can you connect me to the post office, please? I'd like to send a telegram. Right away, sir. Post a telegraph, go ahead, please.
post office. I'm sorry. I have nothing to send. My mistake. As you wish, sir. Goodbye. Hello. What number can I dial for you? I'm sorry to disturb you, miss. Can you connect me to the Elysee 1528? I want to speak to Sophia Blake. Right away, sir. Answer, sir. Call back later. Out. Washing her hair. Oh no, wait, the telegram's actually there. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Toss that other to there. Nope. Ugh. Hmm. Aha. Hmm. Okay, here I can scroll last. Dead husband, though. I've read that as well. <laughs> uh. Voice is sending signal to Kiddly. Maybe she'll talk now. I got a telegram though. That was the one I uh, I requested a long time Come ago. Back later. I need to rest. Hmm. Right, so we know she doesn't have a sister. Hello. Should I see what if she picks up now. I'm sorry to disturb you, miss. Can you connect me to the Elysee 1528? I want to speak to Sophia Blake. Right away, sir. There is no answer, sir. Call back later. God damn. Maybe she murdered herself. That's why she dyed her hair black and placed it in her lap. Yeah, it does. It's like a Sudoku. The other one was, what, 35 or 3? <laughs> oh, yeah, go talk about your brother's hair being dyed. I don't know. <laughs> mm. Let's go speak to Brynn. I'm kind of over not involving the police, like uh, the lady said to, because she's being suspect. Ah, Mr. McPherson, I was just thinking about you. Good to see you again. Have you brought me uh, any more culprits? I'm not giving up, Inspector. Quite the opposite. I will be back when I have some news. No, I... Fine, McPherson. Come back whenever you want. You know where to find me. Mm. Please teleport me directly. Nah. Fucking secret ass that has an over ass. You have to walk over. Mm, okay, so we have some mixy stuff there, and we have the cipher ass. Probably should try with the cipher ass first. I don't think I can really interact with this. <laughs> oh, I have these. I see. Oh, right. 25. 5. 10. 50, okay. Well, let's blow something up. Well, we haven't been able to die yet in this, so I think we're safe, but. In the Olympic with you, Zuckerberg.
pootiest little flame. Put. Best Sit. be careful. The wrong powder in the wrong quantities could spell disaster. It could really damage your tool. Hmm. <laughs> mm, I think we need to note more. Although these numbers are definite. Wait, hold on. Oog. Nando's documents. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. I jumped on as well. Fucking some square. Yet yeah, I have to dump all of the things down in the ass. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Do we want to figure this out, or should I look it up? the uh how to do these things correctly because i'm kind of I have a vague idea of how to do it but it might involve writing things down uh and we'll probably take a bunch of trial and error so we have these substances we have to mix them after the way the man says in numbers that it says on the thing yeah. Mm. 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 Oh, I see. Okay. Right. So the way we do this, we go over here, we look at these, sun, and then we add these together. This was the, what, 34 one, wasn't it? Yeah, 34. 34 sun. Someone please write that. Uh, 15... It is really dark. 15 dirt. Fuck, is that fire? Uh. 
the 65 fire, I think. Oh, that's not sun, by the way. That's air, according to the thing. I go through how to solve it without actually doing it properly. Where's the other one? No, that's air. Mm. We have this one with ridiculous. That's water, and that is 175. Okay. Mm. Hmm. So the thing is, he mentioned moon in there, but I don't. I didn't see any ass. Hmm. Oh. Right, so we do 15 uh, for Earth, Jupiter, or whatever. That's the black one. That's this one. So 10. And 5. Makes 15. This will never have gotten this with Twilight and Error. That's 15. 65 for red, which is Mars. It's 50. Look at it, they have lots of this. Thirty-four for air, Saturn or blue. Thirty-four. What? How do we easiest do this? Twenty-five. What's this one? Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, hundred and seventy-five for green. Fifty, hundred, hundred and fifty. Neat. Please be correct.
Please work. I don't want to do this again. I have no idea what we're making. Ah, oh, we got it. Oh, thank fuck for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. What the fuck did we make? Something purple, which means royal. Purple gas, no. Oh, that's what the man tossed to uh, Neil Brini ate people. I uh, see. Hmm. Okay. Fuck, it's so dark. I think it's the gas that fucked up people earlier in the game. Hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. So we have to put ADN here. I see. Let's hear it then. Mm. Man, actually thinking. Yeah, the top three are these. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Hey. No, that's not it though. It's uh, it's these asses, like these things passing through, according to the thing. But for some reason, they have to be in that order, even though A D N. But who the fuck knows? And the other has to do with the number of rings they ask. I'm not entirely sure how to ask this.
Mm. How the fuck? Man's all like. Rotate the numbered wheel to the bottom clamp to the number of planetary rings that corresponds to the letters on the top clamp. Like how many there are between? What do we have shit here as well? No. I don't know. Fuck. Goddamn walkthrough man making me think. That's correct though. Oh, this says Templars almost. Templars, Templars, Templars. At the end there. Now it no longer says Templars. Back at Templars, score. But they could not. Ah! Okay. Mm. Almost. Ah, fuck, I went over. It's literally the same. the other way around. Nope. Well, we have this correct now, at least. an amount yeah that fits correct that's these three we need the top as wait what Oh, that's literally nothing. What the fuck? B 
But he couldn't stop me from joining the Templars. I have to try to cleanse myself of their sin of the flesh. Because of him and my mother, my soul may already be condemned to hell. Only the balm of the Templars' faith can rid it of the mortal sin engraved upon it. On October 9th, Saint-Denis Day, I finally discovered the traces of the head. Blessed by Saint-Denis, he who smiles down on Saint me Dennis. in all his beatitude to help me leave my soul. Yes, Saint-Denis is smiling on me. The head purifies me. As God is my witness, I, Simon Le Bel, in this year of our Lord, 1305, shall enter the body of Pierre Le Bel de Clemency tomorrow, June 24th, and shall retrieve what is mine by divine right. In this new body, purified of my soul, and of my parents' carnal sin, and death will no longer hold any mystery for me. The head of Baphomet has finally revealed all of its secrets. Victory! I would shout this divine miracle from the rooftops if I did not fear the unbelievers and their stake. I am in a new, younger, stronger body, and it is God's will. How else can I explain Adeline's appearance at my bedside? Blessed and cursed. God gave me a new body, but Adeline, my angel, who took care of this new body, is forbidden to me. It would seem she is the daughter of that idiot, Pierre. That's to say, my own daughter at present. I am weary of this existence. What is the point of living for centuries if I can never again glimpse the smile of my beloved Adeline? Ah, Adeline, you who are forbidden to me, will I ever see your sweet face again? I would gladly exchange these solitary centuries to see your face. Face, your eyes, once more. She has returned. She is once more of this world, and so close to me. She visited Kopner today. It really was her. That excellent doctor of the mind confirmed it. It is her, and this time, she will be mine for the rest of my life. Well, Miss Blake, it would seem you did not tell me everything. That's why he's so susceptible to hypnosis. He's a fucking idiot. Right. That's all I needed. Blake's been abducted and the kidnapper takes himself for a Dialpe. And naturally, he wants the head in exchange. As if I knew where it was. D oh well. Hello, what number can we go? call her? See if she's home. I'm sorry to disturb you, miss. Can you connect me to the post office, please? I'd like to send a telegram. No, Miss Blake is the right lady away, that we work for. Post telegraph, go ahead, please. The one that claimed to be the sister of the murdered ass. 
I'm sorry. I have nothing to send. My mistake. As you wish, sir. Goodbye. It'd be a fine time to involve the police. Facilitately. Lebrun. Ah, Mr. McPherson. I was just thinking about you. Good to see you again. Have you brought me uh, any more culprits? I have a picture of a corpse. You want it? We've been barking up the wrong tree from the start, Inspector. The Whites never were the Whites. The Whites were not the Whites? McPherson, what are you talking about? Ruby and Regis are not the real names of the Orfe victims. Orfless. I... I have in my possession a ring that clearly indicates the woman's name was Faye. Well, that does not prove anything, McPherson. What about all the sweet talk, huh? Faye uh, and Ferry? Of course! Why complicate things to my Ferry with love? A letter. A letter signed Sophia Blake confirms that they were hired to commit a robbery. The letter is addressed to Faye and Jerome Johnson, Inspector. Thieves? What did they steal then, McPherson? We did not find anything in their room, and moreover, no one has brought up charges. Explain that. This is the White's modus operandi. They move to Paris under an assumed name, Eaton. They steal an object, the head of Baphomet. Then they seek refuge at the Orphe under a new identity, the Whites, and they make their delivery. This uh, object, the head of Baphomet, is it valuable? De Alpin. De Alpin is dead. He's been dead for over a week. What are you talking about? If anything happens to Mr. De Alpin, I assure you heads will roll. One gold, one brass. One at the Alpes, the other at Kaufner's. Two ancient coins. These prove that both men were involved in the murders. Everyone has the right to collect ancient coins. Anyway, what has Dr. Kaufner to do with all this? If you have any doubts about Dalpin's involvement, I have something that will convince you, Inspector. A glass vial, taken from his home, identical to the one found broken in the White's room. McPherson, Gregoire de Alpin is surely not the only man in the world to own such a vial. It proves nothing. Stop protecting Dalpin. He's the only man in Paris who can obtain these vials. The only one capable of putting this gas inside them. The purple gas he uses to put his victims to sleep. Leave the vial with me. I will have it examined. Here you are. Thank you, McPherson. Hmm. Unless this letter is a fake, it proves that Jacques Allouin was really hired by Grégoire d'Alpin. 
Even working for the Alpin, Elwin could have committed these crimes. The Alpin looks to have died peacefully of old age. Nothing like the other murders. I have a photo here. See for yourself. Even if Mr. de Alpin had died of natural causes, it would not prove Alouin's innocence, McPherson. Quite the contrary. If de Alpin has been dead for over a week, he couldn't have hired Alouin to investigate. Do you not see, Inspector? Somebody else hired Alouin. And I suppose you're going to tell me who this uh, mysterious person is, Mr. McPherson. Fuck. Now, where's the murder we weapon? Oh, that. Inspector Lebrun, what I have shown you is irrefutable proof of Elowen's innocence. I found the knife used to cut off the victim's heads. The murder weapon must be a knife of extreme precision, medical precision, with an incredibly sharp blade. Show me what you have, McPherson. This is the murder weapon, just as I found it at Grégoire d'Alpin's home. Thank you, McPherson. You must admit that this is all very strange. Have you considered questioning d'Alpin? I would have to check with uh, Monsieur d'Alpin. I can't tell you more, McPherson. It's extremely dead. I'm not sure. I doubt you can put a monetary value on it. Right. Listen, McPherson. I will check all this out. If you find anything else, come and see me again. I hope these clues will enable us to prove that Elouin is innocent. I will speak with Elouin, and we shall see. If I understand correctly, the Whites were not the Whites, but the Eatons, who are in fact the Johnsons. A couple of uh, professional con artists hired to retrieve a relic at the Alpines by Sophia Blake, also your employer, Mr. McPherson. Yet according to this note, Sophia Blake is currently being held hostage by Mr. De Alpin. <laughs> Would it be the same De Alpin we see dead in these photos? Do you understand anything? It's just that... That is to say that you and me are going to have a little chat to set this story straight from the beginning. Lebrun, aren't you tired of making people believe this story? The evidence is there, on the table. Sir, I advise you to go back to your paintbrushes and leave the authorities to do their job. Now, if you will excuse us... May I retrieve my documents? Consider these documents as facts, Mr. McPherson. And without facts, there is no proof. Yes, and there is the proof of my innocence, Lebrun. We shall see about that, Elwin. We shall see. Mr. McPherson, goodbye. Poor Elwin. I did what I could for him. The only thing I've got left now is my conscience. Me, Blake and my conscience. Did I just fuck that up by going there too early or something? I think maybe. Let's not. McPherson. Not canon.
something awful's happened. Yulu. Yulu is dead. He's been murdered. God damn it, he was very fine. Oh, her name. him why hello when did this happen and you baby are you okay the cops discovered his body at sunrise but he may have been dead for a couple of days i have no idea no idea well he'd have to be we have the knife It's awful. Hulot was not supposed to die. He could not die. He was the last person to see the Whites alive. The police. Did the police tell you how it happened? I don't know how to describe it. It is so sordid. His head, Mac, his head was cut off. His body was hanging on the front of the car. And his head was sitting on the hood like a figurehead. Worst of all, in his mouth. The police found a coin in his mouth. of this before everyone else dies. Do you know who is heading the inquiry? Inspector Lebrun, always spotless, the perfect bourgeois. They're putting on an act in an attempt to hoodwink us. In fact, Mac, they haven't got anything to go on. Hulot, you, me, Elouin, for them we're all nobodies. It's up to us to unravel this. So basically, don't go to the police and deliver all the shit. I'm not sure I've grasped the magnitude of this business. But one thing's for sure. You are not safe, Berenice. Be careful. I'll do everything in my power to put a stop to these crimes. Everything. Find the killer for me, Mac. I will manage on my own. Mac. I don't know what to think anymore, Mac. Berenice. Hulot is dead. We have to be careful, too. Was it the police who told you? They have a suspect. They're already holding Halloween. The pigs? They're all the same. The investigation is taking its course, miss. Like hell. Everything I know I got from my contacts. I'm not sure I've grasped the magnitude of this business. But one thing's for sure. You are not safe, Berenice. Be careful. I'll do everything in my power to put a stop to these crimes. Everything. Find the killer for me, Mac. I will manage on my own. Mac. I don't know what to think anymore, Mac. Hulot dead, and the soul of the Alembic gone with him. We've all lost a great friend, Berenice. Keep your chin up, baby. Don't let them get you down. There's still the Alembic. Hulot started from nothing. 
He worked as a construction worker on the Metro before becoming a very important patron of the arts. You know, a big shot. Yes, it's true. A great Time to sulk about our paintings. Sponsor to you, to me, to the others. He took me under his wing as soon as I got to Paris. A generous man, even if he never wanted to exhibit me. Hulot always had a solution for everything. Like he said, every man has at least one quality. There were those he exhibited, and then there were the others. A real little hive of activity behind Hulot. Painters, sculptors, writers, intellectuals. In any case, Mac, nobody in Paris knows anything about art, but they all want a picture on their walls. And they're willing to pay a small fortune. I feel as bad as you do, Berenice. Anyone who comes to the Alambé will be grieving. The place will be a shrine to him. Everyone who comes in will be reminded of Albert Hulot. So many stories. You know how much Ulu loved his entourage. Everybody had a chance. The Alambic was his masterpiece. Take this fresco, for example. You know how many artists contributed? Ulu would ask them to paint a bit, sometimes just a brush stroke. Over the years, it became his treasure. It's true. That fresco is rather special. Did he tell you what it is meant to represent? He used to sit and stare at the fresco at night. Honestly, Mac, it kept the secrets of his soul. But Berenice, doing those little favors could have sometimes made crooks out of us. Everyone knew Albert was a fence. Hulot saw himself as the Robin Hood of the art world. He got money out of the rich for the art of the poor. He may have been a fence, but he had ideas. I think she meant ideals. Uh. Still, I don't think it's very honorable. Copying an original work is like plundering its magic. Of course, Mac. I worked for Ulu. We all have to live, you know. Sculpture doesn't exactly pay a girl's rent. You say you've copied works of art for Hulot? Has he commissioned any work recently? Strangely enough, yes. The day you came to the Alambic, the first time, I gave him a copy of a grotesque bust. My God. Bernice, the bust. The bus you sculpted for Hulot, did it look like what you see in the sketch? It is exactly the same. Hulot asked me to make a copy. I gave it to him the night you came. Mac, I'm scared. What's going on? It's awful. I have to find this head before there are any more deaths. Even your life is at risk, Berenice. The killer is after this head. Don't you see, baby? I have to find out how Hulot got his hands on this accursed object. I have no idea who gave the head to Hulot. I made a copy, that's all. Bebe, I need a small favor. I have to infiltrate hey, the hood, and I need a fake letter of introduction. Can you write me one using this letter? How can you ask me that under such circumstances? You only think of yourself, Gus McPherson. He's fucking massive under that though. Like he's he's swole under that shirt. It's ridiculous. Do we ever actually see the fresco? Hmm. Oh. Dead as tolerant. Fuck's sake, Matt. Wait. That's mine now. I guess. 
Hulo. What was the secret you had hidden right under our noses all the time? Ugh. No, I needed the thing. <laughs> hmm? Ah, Nigel. Be more of those. Uh. I scan all. I think we got the thing down there though. Oh. Got one there somehow. Almost done with this side, I think. That it? Maybe, baby. Hmm. 
I'm assuming it will kick us out automatically once we have everything. Ah, she's missing a finger. Eh, that hand. Let's get something there. And thus, McPair burned down the entire fucking thing. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Oh, yo, yo. It's a washing rack, god damn. I guess. That didn't seem to do anything. Like I'm just carrying around a murder weapon like a fucking madman. Okay. Fuck sake. How absolute. <laughs> I 
I couldn't move the lettuce, I think. Molita. Yeah, it's uh, some sort of Templar Hoover machine. What the actual fuck? I got myself did, didn't I? Probably. Aha! Darkest ass. Guess that's where Satan leaves lives. just lean against the side you had to gamble that you could break that wait fuck we finally deem it dark enough to use the flashlight I guess I deem it quite shit French one, I guess. This fucking music, it has to be Nando's, even though we're in, like, Satanville. I see a thing there. That's where he kept all his fake shit. That must be the mask down there. Wait, what? How the fuck are the teeth still stuck in that thing if it, uh... If it, it's just skin. I thought this would be it. I guess the one without the vision is the fake. What's tits? What's the man? Oh. But it was the first one you picked up. That's the real one, I'm assuming. Well, if she made the thing, we can probably ask her about it. Mac. I don't know what to think anymore, Mac. Very nice. There it is. You recognize your own handiwork? The heads of Baphomet, exact copies. Not even my expert eye can distinguish between the original and the fake. Mac, what you see here is my life's work. It is really perfect. It is good work. I'm not sure I've grasped the magnitude of this business, but one thing's for sure. Are not safe, Berenice. Be careful. I will do everything in my power to put a stop to these crimes. Everything. 
Find the killer for me, Mac. I will manage on my own. Alright, bebe. I guess it's police time. Oops. Ah, Mr. McPherson. I was just thinking about you. Good to see you again. Have you brought me uh, any more culprits? We've been barking up the wrong tree from the start, Inspector. The Whites never were the Whites. The Whites were not the Whites? McPherson, what are you talking about? Ruby and Regis are not the real names of the Orfe victims. I... I have in my possession a ring that clearly indicates the woman's name was Faye. Well, that does not prove anything, McPherson. What about all the sweet talk, huh? Faye uh, and Ferry? Of course! Why complicate things to my Ferry with love? A letter. A letter signed Sophia Blake confirms that they were hired to commit a robbery. The letter is addressed to Faye and Jerome Johnson, Inspector. Thieves? What did they steal then, McPherson? We did not find anything in their room, and moreover, no one has brought up charges. Explain that. They robbed Grégoire d'Alpin. The plan was orchestrated by the same woman who hired me, Sophia Blake. This is a major con trick, Inspector. De Alpin? Grégoire de Alpin, the banker? McPherson, I assure you that a man as important as Grégoire de Alpin would have called on the police to solve this case. He has the means, believe me. One gold, one brass. One at the mm. end, the other Can't talk about the head. Two ancient coins. These prove that both men were involved in the murders. Everyone has the right to collect ancient coins. Anyway, what has Dr. Kaufner to do with all this? Your charge of murder against Helwain just doesn't hold water, Inspector Lebrun. Another man is dead, Hulot. Albert Hulot was killed in the same circumstances as the Whites and Malay. In other words, the accomplice is still out there. De Alpin. De Alpin is dead. He's been dead for over a week. What are you talking about? If anything happens to Mr. D'Alpin, I assure you heads will roll.
D'Alpin looks to have died peacefully of old age. Nothing like the other murders. I have a photo here. See for yourself. Even if Mr. D'Alpin had died of natural causes, it would not prove Alloin's innocence, McPherson. Quite the contrary. If you have any doubts about D'Alpin's involvement, I have something that will convince you, Inspector. A glass vial, taken from his home, identical to the one found broken in the White's room. McPherson, Gregoire de Alpin is surely not the only man in the world to own such a vial. It proves nothing. That is too much. Will you never face up to the facts? You know as well as I do that coins like these were found on all the victims. How do you know about the coins? A couple of anonymous sources are enough to keep me abreast. Beauvais will get an earful about this. Leave the coins with me. They are evidence. But Inspector, Eloin and Hulot never met. Hmm. He had no motive for killing him. Eloin had never met the Whites, but he killed them nonetheless. Albert Hulot was probably another embarrassing witness. It's strange, but it's true. Doubtless Dalpin preferred to sort this business out in the greatest secrecy. Just ask Halloween. He's the one who investigated it. I would have to check with uh, Monsieur Dalpin. I can't tell you more, McPherson. He's dead, mate. Mm. Stop protecting Dalpin. He's the only man in Paris who can obtain these vials. The only one capable of putting this gas inside them. The purple gas he uses to put his victims to sleep. Leave the vial with me. I will have it examined. Here you are. Thank you, McPherson. With this, you can start investigating the true motives behind the murders. Thank you, McPherson. Unless this letter is a fake, it proves that Jacques Alouin was really hired by Grégoire d'Alpin. Even working for the Alpin, Alouin could have committed these crimes. If d'Alpin has been dead for over a week, he couldn't have hired Alouin to investigate. Do you not see, Inspector? Somebody else hired Alouin. And I suppose you're going to tell me who this uh, mysterious person is, Mr. McPherson. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Shit. So until proven otherwise, Elwain is my number one suspect. Uh. I'm not giving oh, up, shit. Inspector. Quite the opposite. I will be back when I have some news. Fine, McPherson. Come back whenever you want. You know Didn't where to find me. Mean to click that. Ah, Mr. McPherson. I was just thinking about you. Good to see you again. Have you brought me uh, any more culprits? The swap thingy here is just there. You also click the same the ass thing. You must admit that this is all very strange. Have you considered Weirdly, I can't talk the about the masks now, and I have I them. I will have to check with uh, Monsieur D'Alpin. I can tell you more, McPherson. Inspector Lebrun, what I have shown you is irrefutable proof of Eloine's innocence. I found the knife used to cut off the victim's heads. The murder weapon must be a knife of extreme precision. Medical precision. With an incredibly sharp blade. 
Show me what you have, McPherson. This is the murder weapon, just as I found it at Grégoire Dalpin's home. A Liston knife, used by doctors for amputations. With a single movement, you can remove a limb. Impressive. I will see what we can learn from this. Thank you, Mr. McPherson. <laughs> yeah. I hope these clues will enable us to prove that Elouin is innocent. I will speak with Elouin, and we shall see. Could not talk about the head this time, even though I have it with me. It's weird. If I understand correctly, the Whites were not the Whites, but the Eatons, who are in fact the Johnsons. A couple of uh, professional con artists hired to retrieve a relic at the Alpines by Sophia Blake. Also your employer, Mr. McPherson. Yet according to this note, Sophia Blake is currently being held hostage by Mr. De Alpin. <laughs> Would it be the same De Alpin we see dead in these photos? Do you understand anything? It's just that. That is to say that you and me are going to have a little chat to set this story straight from the beginning. Lebrun, aren't you tired of making people believe this story? The evidence is there, on the table. Sir, I advise you to go back to your paintbrushes and leave the authorities to do their job. Now, if you will excuse us. May I retrieve my documents? Consider these documents as facts, Mr. McPherson. And without facts, there is no proof. Yes, and there is the proof of my innocence, Lebrun. We shall see about that, Elway. We shall see. Mr. McPherson, goodbye. GN, man guy. Poor Elway. I did what I could for him. The only thing I've got left now is my conscience. Me, Blake in my conscience. All right. Well, we have another save. So, NP. <laughs> mm. Mr. McPherson. No. Oh. Did you know that in Tarot, the hangman is not put to death, but confronted by his destiny instead. Arriving at his journey's end, he is able to see his life again from a new angle. Sometimes a man thinks of certain events again and discovers that he was tricked, betrayed. McPherson! Help me, Gustav! Don't let him! He's insane! This painful blow, this moment when our convictions, our beliefs, our passions are shattered. When you discover your life has been nothing but lies, trickery. McPherson, help me down! He'll kill me! He'll kill you! Like he killed all the others! He killed them all! That Kaufner, he killed them! Charged! Oh, fuck, he teleported. All guilty of having tricked me, betrayed me, stolen from me. Just as you did Blake. And just as she tricked and betrayed you too, Mr. McPherson. The Baphomet is mine. It has been mine for centuries. It is my immortality. Give me back the head, McPherson, or she will be sentenced before the tribunal of God. Well, I will shoot the wall above you. The Alpe, you turned to crime, whereas you had the opportunity to live in peace forever. Their death is fair payment for that treachery. Haven't you understood that nothing in all this can wipe out your suffering, your grief? Your Adeline, 
The memory of Adeline lives on stronger than ever. Oh god damn, he has body trouble with that finger. How can you believe in the purity of a love whilst revering an idol such as the Baphomet? You disgust me, Dialpe. You are unworthy of your Adeline. You are unworthy of any woman. Take back your precious treasure. Cherish it. Right. You have the head now. Let her go. Blundering idiot! Did you really think I would let you leave with my secret? That was close. Yes, I owe you one. Never mind that. If it was not for you, I would still be rotting away in jail. Come on, I'll buy you a drink at the Alambe. Uh, it's not like me to turn down such an offer. And there's that cute girl that works there. Be careful. People are not always what they seem. Hey! Don't forget me! No. You'll get my bill within the next few days. And the police should be turning up any moment. Is Goffner right? Was he really the right path? What difference would it make? He's dead now. He might have been immortal. He's not any longer. What some people will do for Bao. Yes. There are people who would do anything for power and money. But not us. Can't you die from hanging upside down for too long? Someone get me some medical on this. I think that was one of the good endings. Uh, I think there's four or something. <laughs> it takes a while. How long are we talking here? Also like the completely unnecessary upskirt. Anyway, so this was post-mortem. Uh, the second game supposedly is very very good this was okay certainly had character uh the second game is called still life which we may uh we may partake in at some point uh right now we have a vote running for what we play after this i'll have a half an hour's break or something oh <laughs> Oh, I see. Yeah, it's on the Discord right now. Right now, Space Haven is ahead. But that can change. So in about half an hour, we shall uh, we shall do some of that. I will have a brief break to have a shower and maybe some nibbles. So uh, that was a uh, thing. We are continuing with the sequel, likely tomorrow. It, I have it, but I have not tried to see if it actually runs. So there, there might be that. Uh, but uh, hopefully I can get it to function. This one is older and worked, but it might be in that unfortunate time where things did not work so well. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put you over to Weenie for a bit. Uh, go vote. We will ask later. Oh, yes.